All right, good morning. It's been a while since we've done an Old World Garden uh, garden video, but we are back at the new farm and starting to build. And so we wanted to kind of come in and show you what's going on as we install the new garden. The experimental garden will have a little bit of everything we do, including raised row gardening, bucket gardening. We included it next to one of our little cabins here. So um, we'll have to fence this all in. We live in a much more rural area now, uh, 20 acres out in the middle of nowhere, and I think we're gonna have a lot more problems with uh, deer and raccoon and groundhogs and everything else. So. We'll kind of start here. Um, this garden will have a little of everything we do. You can see right here in front, we have the bucket planters going in. We have the potato crate there to the left. Um, in the background, we have one of our three-tiered planters and then some of our raised beds. Down here, you'll see that we are starting the build of our raised rows. That is the straw um, that will go underneath. We'll put compost and topsoil on that today to form our rows. Then we'll have wood chips on the side. You'll notice up here, in the raised rows or excuse me in the raised beds that we put down um, what's called limestone screenings here in ohio um, these will pack down and we'll rake them out and then we'll put pea gravel on top there's no need to put um, wood chips up here simply because if we use that we have to keep replacing them up here with these raised beds it's not as important as we do the raised rows to have something uh, that's more permanent we don't have to use so to build our raised beds uh, these are rough sawn uh, two inch thick boards. We get them from a local sawmill. Uh, they last forever. I mean, th these will last 15 years. We won't have to do anything with them. And in the background, you can see our triple compost bin we just put in yesterday. We've always used a double bin system. Uh, we'll actually have plans for this triple bin on our uh, Etsy store here in the next month or so. Um, but we want to use this because we're going to need a lot more uh, compost as we are starting to garden from scratch. As I said, we'll have a little herb garden back there in the back, but we just kind of wanted to show you the beginnings of this. The garlic right here, we actually put that in last fall. Um, we've had our same garlic crop for, gosh, going on 12 years now, and we did not want to lose the seed. So we just planted enough that we can have seed this year. That'll be harvested sometime uh, late June and July. Down here, we'll build our raised rows. And then just to kind of give you a little sneak preview, uh, this is the building of the lodge here that'll be right off of the garden. Um, as you can see, a lot of construction underway here, uh, but we're excited. We're excited to have the garden uh, and the ability to, to do a lot more videos and to showcase all kinds of different gardening and, and different items that, you know, as we talk about and try to help people, it also helps us to have something to showcase each week as we uh, start with a new vegetable or you name it, a new gardening style. So that's a look right now. Uh, not a lot, although a lot of work has gone in to get it to this point, but here in the next two weeks, it'll be all filled out. We should have the fence in shortly and we'll get her planted up. So just wanted to give you a look at what we're doing and we'll keep it coming here and give you an update here in the next month on the garden build.